Thank you for tuning into Top EVT. This is me, Jamie. Welcome to video 26 of our series for successful entrepreneurship. And in this video, we'll be looking at your customer profile. Why is it important to understand your customer profile and why is it important to create a customer profile? If you haven't watched the previous videos, watch those videos first for context and then you can come here and subscribe to the channel because I will be uploading a new video in this series every day. Now, why is it important for you to create your customer profile and that too so early in the creation of your product? You have just understood what your product is and you haven't even probably not uh, gone through even prototyping the product. What is the need for you to actually create a customer profile well there is a good need for it if you don't know who your customer is you don't know how to market to them you don't know uh, what kind of expectation to get from your product success or failure so let's get into it how do you create a profile for your customer the first thing you need to know is who is the person your product is intended for if you know who the pro person is you are trying to target that is is it a hipster is it a new kind of person is it a newlywed all of these things you have to understand who you are trying to target if your product is something for a teenager or you know the new generation then that is a product you are targeting for them so that is the intended audience you you need to find out who the intended audience is after you find out who the intended audience is you have to find out their age that is you need to find out is it like you know 16 to 20 year old uh, person might be interested in your product or is it a 25 to 30 year old all of these people are totally different they follow different things they access media in the different ways so until and unless you know who you are targeting you can't get the word across now if you have a lot of social media advertising for people who are above 60 or 70 and that's your intended audience that's probably not gonna work that well but if you have uh, you know if you are just putting things in the newspaper or the magazines and uh, your intended audience is actually 16 year olds that is also not going to work so that is the reason you need to understand who your audience is, who it is meant for and what is their age. So the age group at which they are right now. Once you understand that, the next thing you have to do is you have to find out where they are. If you are trying to target a person in another country or another demographic altogether, it might be a bit hard so the marketing costs and all of these things are different for that but nothing is impossible you can still do that if you have the resources for that you can do that so understand where the intended customer is the location is very important because you can actually source your warehouses and all these kind of things that are necessary you can actually place it around that locality and get the product there more efficiently if uh, my intended uh, audience is somewhere very far away from where my warehouse and my showrooms are and all of these things are then that's not gonna work well you need to keep your shop or whatever you are trying to get your retail outlets you need to be at accessible distance to these people so that's the reason why you need to find out where they are. The next thing you have to know is what kind of trends do they follow and are they following right now. This is for two things. One is to understand the entry into the market. That is how to get the word across. If they are following certain trends, you can hop onto that trend and get that word across. Or it can also be to understand if will it will your product survive or will it just be a fad for a few years that is also one more thing the next thing you have to understand is understand what kind of experience the person is looking for your intended audience you need to understand what they are used to 
and what would be the bare minimum experience they would accept the bare minimum you know the service that they will accept if you don't know that and you start offering certain thing if you are trying to get some rich customers suppose a good example would be if you are trying to target really rich people they have a certain uh, expectation out of the experience if you don't give them that even if your product is good it won't fare well they have certain expectations that you go there you uh, they you offer them coffee or whatever it is they have a certain expectation there they know how they have to be treated understand that how do the customers want themselves to be treated the experience they want to get out of it and i'm not telling you to go to the bare minimum of the experience actually you should try to supersede whatever experience that they are having so go that extra mile to help them to satisfy their uh, need and to wow them if you can do that that will actually get your product in a better position to success the final thing that you have to look for in your customer profile is how long will that customer be using your product there is a need to understand that you know will the customer just use it for the next 5 years or 10 years or 2 months one day is it a one time buy all of this is necessary because you will be able to understand okay this customer once i reel in this customer that customer will be there with me for the next 10 years so even if my cost of acquisition of that customer might be really high i can invest in it because they are going to stick with me for the next 10 years but if it is a just a one time buy that is once they'll buy it and then they are going to forget about you that if that is the case you can't actually spend a lot more for acquisition of that customer if you spend a lot more than that that is you go into loss gainers and you are trying to get that customer to uh, you you're spending more than your product that is not going to fare well so that is the reason why you need to understand how long are they going to stay in your market if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments below if you have any topic requests leave them in the comments below as well like share subscribe this has been jamie for topivity i'll see you in the next video